Hey Virgo, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back to your love saga. How you guys doing? Hope everybody's doing well. This is a Virgo channel only for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Come in with an open mind. Take what fits, leave the rest. And if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. And please do hit like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, you guys. Let's see what's going on here. Virgo, how is you? How is you? Hello, everyone in the chat. Okay, let's see. What does spirit want you to know? What does spirit want Virgo to know? Happy weekend as well. Okay, we had a jumper and it flipped back. Okay, so. Hmm. Feels like it's a little bit of yesterday's energy here. Oh, maybe not. You've got the sun. So, hmm. Connecting with a Leo. Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Oh, Five of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Somebody's waiting. Waiting on something. Stressing about it. Okay, Page of Swords. Harfont and oh shoot oh my goodness um the hangman so bottom of the deck four of wands somebody's getting married <laughs> virgo i feel like a lot of you okay somebody's coming back there's a reunion i know i know no 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 um there might be something going on some of you might just be going to a wedding or some type of a party or a family event coming up now this energy is playing into november so there might be oh okay so for some there is thanksgiving holiday event or someone's going home okay okay Okay, so we've got two queens here. We have two queens. So, queen of wands, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the queen of swords, air, element, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right, a couple of messages here with this. Uh, somebody's going to initiate some action in regard to your home. For some of you, this is a sister or some family members or siblings, okay? Somebody's going home to see siblings, maybe in November. Okay, uh, you may receive or you may be giving a message about mm, an engagement or engagement party or a reception, something to do with marriage and family, okay? Um, and I'm feeling like you and a friend or you and a sister there's two people here. Let me see. Okay. For some of you, you have a fire sign who's initiating. You're going to get some communication or message from a fire sign. I've been thinking about you. Okay. And for others, you've got an air sign who... Uh, this person's kind of corrupt, like a con man or con woman someone who might try to bribe you <laughs> i'm feeling like bribery um let's see about what uh, it feels like two separate energies actually i feel like um you guys have an air sign uh for the females i feel like you have um a king of swords who's going to be messaging you they've been thinking about you thinking like they're planning plotting and scheming something here in their communication with you okay trying to con you into something hmm. and it feels like for a lot of you you have not been talking to this person or you've been ignoring them or you're indifferent to their advances okay and I see them if you've been communicating with them before I see they're gonna try again if you haven't this could be somebody new coming in and just you get a vibe that this person is kind of being a bit manipulative okay so for some of you um, that's some strange energy right there all right let's 
let's let's do a deep dive here so you also have leo and taurus and pisces here on the table all right let's see what the love messages are oh you can't make this up reconciliation okay listen you guys I do feel there's somebody coming in here from your past in November it's going to be showing up let me see here it could be this king of swords I feel like you've got plans though you're doing something you're going somewhere in November or you're going home or you might get an invite you're getting an invite not might okay make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you got it to take and then release your ex oh wow okay you guys listen you have a past person coming back in it might be the same person from the past few readings they're gonna keep trying um, and this person is let go like they're done with a past relationship okay you might have your person who is involved with somebody else and for some of you their person is going to be reaching out to you okay they might tell you that they're getting married or that they're engaged but it's kind of a ruse no it's not they just said no it's not um Whoever you were connecting with is still trying to connect with you. You guys are kind of on to something. Okay, you're on to something. The question is, if they're so happy and they've got something else going on with somebody else, why are they still reaching out to you? Okay, why are they still sending you love, <clears throat> excuse me, text messages, love messages? Why are they still thinking about you? Um, this person's got some control issues and because you're avoiding them or you're indifferent or you're not interested in them anymore, okay? Um, some of you may just be thinking that they are with another person and that they are actually engaged or getting married. Some of you might be having a conversation with that, their person or something's going on. But I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not really, I, I don't even want to focus too much on that. I want to know why this past person, if they're with somebody else, why they're coming back to you. Okay. And I feel like it's because you don't want them anymore. Or you're just not interested. Oh my gosh. Because they're looking at you, you again. I feel like this reading is the same. They're looking at you and you are like, look at you. You're looking amazing. This is a Virgo card, male or female. So you got that nine of pentacles energy. You're doing your own thing. You're happy. This just kind of feels like it's... The same thing. Aren't you guys getting tired of these past people showing up here? But I feel like for some of you, I have to tell you, listen, for some of you, 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 some of you have in your mind, because maybe they're not talking to you, there's no communication. Some of you think that something's going on with another person. For those of you who like don't know for sure, some of you are just trying to fill in the gaps because you don't know. And I don't feel like there's something going on for that group of people. I don't feel like there's something going on with that group of people. That's why this person is trying to come in and, and you know, come back into your life. But they are coming in very sneaky. I feel because this person, for some reason, there was a gap in communication. Um, that kind of feels like that was done on purpose to see if you would chase them and or you know inquire ask where they are where, where they've been and i i feel like you haven't been doing that i feel like you haven't been doing that and just for some just thought okay well i guess there was somebody else so i'm just gonna leave it alone and do my own thing and here they come all right show me why the sun is here because i feel like this person with the knight of swords uh, they're coming in pretty damn fast like a fast talker i want to come back i want to make things different i want to change i want everything to be different i want it to be better okay that fast talker energy opening up let's see let's take a look at the sun oh they're going to tell you that they weren't with somebody and they and they see you uh, like they want a new start with you 
right? Um, they are going to tell you that they weren't with another person. But remember, this person is showing up in the reverse in the sword energy, which can be someone who is a con artist. So I feel like you guys, you feel that way because you haven't been talking to them or you haven't heard from them. So that's kind of like, whether they're with someone or not, whether you know they are or not, just the fact that they are popping in and out of your life makes you feel like they're a con artist, that there's something else going on. Okay, just because it's their actions or their lack of action or their um, in and out energy. It's causing you to not feel like you can trust this person. Why wasn't this person communicating with Virgo? <clears throat> Some of you might be going home or you are going to like a holiday thing or you're going home for a vacation or holiday. You might meet somebody while you're there. Okay, you might have a brother or sister who introduces you to someone. And it's like, whew, it's hot and passionate and fiery. Okay, why wasn't this person talking to you? Hmm. Okay, for some, um... This person just had a fear of like change. Um, they pulled their energy back. The closer you got, they pulled their energy back. They went into, they had like, they were in denial, okay? Um, and then I just heard, they think that you're making a mistake choosing them, or they think you made a mistake choosing them. They're not good enough. And they might've told you, for some of you, they might've told you that, um, you know, I'm not a good person to be with. You shouldn't be with me, that kind of thing. And then they, it feels like they just pulled away. It felt like you were making a bad decision. But ultimately, this person, the 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 core of it is that they're weak-minded, and also karma hit them, right? In the upright, this is good karma. In the reverse, this is negative karma, bad karma. I'm not going, I'm not deep diving into that. So here they come. They, they see you as the queen of queens, the king of kings, okay? The empress is here. So it feels to me like, um, well, for some of you, I'm gonna say that, that you have all the, the resources. <laughs> you have all the resources, you have everything they need, all right? And you know, it's just, it's just simple. This person is either this is your past person they're just stuck on you and they keep coming in and out of your life. I just kind of feel like you guys are like, no, it's not going to happen. Um, for some of you, it feels like if you're able to have children, this person wants to have a baby with you. Or they left you when they found out you were pregnant and now they're coming back in. They don't want you to be on your own. They don't want you to be single. They don't want to have to pay support for for you and a child. If it, it, It's kind of like they can't fight it, so they got to come back. Gee, that's romantic. You, you shit stain. Let me see. Libra and energy there. Okay. So the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. That's what I was saying. Okay, for some of you, it, it, it does have something to do with money. Um, uh, it feels like this person is kind of like, I don't like that energy. It feels like they, they feel like they're stuck. They gotta do something about this. Because I'm not, I'm not, listen, I'm, I, I hate to break it to you. I do, but I'm gonna, because that's what I do. This person is not coming back with this love thing. It's not love. The only, the only love energy that's coming through from this person is like con artist love. And I feel like it's to save money. Okay. Even if there's no children involved, this person is down on their luck. Broke, busted, and disgusted. 
what an absolute shit stain. Okay, yeah, they're, they're coming in with this, like they see you differently. I don't know what's going on, but Virgo, you're kind of standing in this place where... Oh, okay, they just gave me this. They don't want to. They don't want to pay any money. They don't want you to take their money and spend it on things that they want to be in control of the money. That's what I. As I say, they don't want you looking good. They don't want you being single. There's some control issues with this person. Um, if they were with another person, they're they're releasing that person. I don't feel like they're releasing their ex on purpose. I feel like they're being forced to release to whoever they were with. All right, but. There's definitely this rushing in real quick, rushing in real fast in November. Okay, all these cards are showing up reversed. King of Cups in the reverse here, okay? Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. They see you making all this money and they see you doing well for yourself. They want a piece of that. King of Cups in reverse is someone who's very abusive and emotional manipulator. my cards are they must be all mixed up and it is what it is we're just going to keep pulling it all right so they have the five of pentacles they're totally like poverty they're stressing they're going to make the effort that's for sure i don't know are you guys like do you have money are you doing well for yourself i mean some of you might only have five dollars in the bank and it's more than they have or five whatever wherever you are in the world Whatever you have, they want half of it. They're coming in for half of it. Let's take a look here. This person is like walking through the snow. They got a crutch. They got a peg leg. Maybe they're a pirate. They're dependent, financially dependent. They don't have their own or what they need. Okay. Yep, very unbalanced. Temperance in the reverse. This person might have a temper. <clears throat> they are so stressing. Oh my goodness. What is with this drama with these readings lately? This person is stressing how they're going to get back. How they're going to do this. Oh, I know. I'll call Virgo because Virgo is steady, stable, competent, has a good business head, knows, where to, knows how to save money. A lot of you Virgos, you're good at saving. Nine of... Oh, okay, and strength here. Oh, I have to sneeze. You guys have been sneezing all day. There's definitely a Leo. For some of you, it's definitely a Leo. Getting the courage. Getting the courage. Waiting for the right time to come in towards you. Take your money and run. I don't see a thief here. Not yet. <clears throat> for some of you, this person made a bad decision, okay? They left the home, and <clears throat> they left with just their shoes and a backpack, and they didn't think it through. Maybe they were angry, or there was an argument or something. Coming back in to apologize, when to come back in, they want to come home. Um, some of you already got a roommate, and there's no room for this person. They might have left you financially, like having to pay for everything or pay the bills or what have you. Um, and you got some help, you got somebody to help you out, and you're doing fine, you're doing well, and they're not. They may be, um, I feel like, I do feel like they're going to message you with these sweet nothings, and I do feel like they know that you are, it feels like you're just not interested. They're going to wait to hear back from you. Um... See what you say. See if you give them another chance. Okay. The hermit in the reverse. Yeah, this person's like completely isolated. They got nobody. Totally all alone. Feeling very lonely. Um, this person just has a habit of repeating past mistakes. Okay. Again, this person feels like they're stuck in a rut, they're in a jam, and they're coming in, they need your help. They may have been relying on somebody else. Maybe they moved in somebody else's home, things aren't working out, that kind of thing. And they're really going to put in the effort because they love you, Virgo. Great love. They can say, this is a great love, I'm going to tell you. Great, this is great love. It's worth it. 
worth taking the steps. Come on, let's do it. Uh, you know, I'm real sorry, baby. <laughs> what is this, General Hospital? Days of Virgo's lives. Let me see. Oh, they're going to come in and, like, if you are married to this person, um, they're going to, I'm going to tell you, Virgo, listen, I'm not going to tell you not to take this person back, okay? You do what you want. But I do feel like this person, if they had an ex or someone they were still stuck on and you guys got pregnant or you were progressing in a relationship and then they just kind of bolted, um, I feel like they're coming in. They're getting their karma and I do feel like they're, they learned a lesson. They learned a great lesson here. And I feel like they are going to come in and try to do things right this time or like by the book. You know what I mean? Like do do right by you. They're going to conform and try to meet your expectations of what you want and what you, what you need at this time. Now listen, I just have to tell you, if this is like the first time that something like this happened with this person, then should you give them another chance? I mean... I guess with conditions that they're gonna like follow through, you know? I mean, should you put this person on probation? Yeah, you shouldn't just trust them at their word, <clears throat> you know? So you can, I mean, I know some of you Virgos are like one and done, that's fine. And then there's others that, you know, well, you're a bit more forgiving and you will give this person another chance to come in, but you're not just gonna, you know, let them back in and just back to the way things were immediately. I feel like you, some of you are just going to be like, all right, well, I'm going to need a contract. I'm going to need it in writing. I'm going to need a deposit of about 10,000, 10 K. Uh, some of you might actually, I don't see any Virgos here. And if you're that Virgo, you're going to have to get off my channel because that's not going to happen. I don't see any Virgos here who are going to let anybody back after bad behavior and just not have consequences if that's you maybe you're not maybe you're not a full sun virgo i'm not sure but if it is that you if, but if that is you you need to listen to me and i'm telling you don't ever do that a lot of you have let this person back three four or five and on that many times and the reason why is because you didn't give consequences there has to be consequences even a child gets consequences you know for not following through on just the basic you know rules <laughs> of a relationship I mean no cheating you know no theft no lying no I mean these are just general human things okay so you might if you were dealing with someone who was like a grown-up a grown boy or a grown girl you know you need to school somebody so first time okay you know, maybe some counseling or some proof or something. Second time, mm, anytime after that, no, out, the F out. Because then this person is just not learning anything and they're not taking any lessons and they're not, like you can do a lot better on your own. You could do drama all by yourself, Virgo. You don't need any, like n you're not trying to raise anybody here, okay? So, you know, you gotta, you gotta know, you gotta know. If you're taking somebody back a million times then you gotta start looking at yourself, what the heck's wrong with you? All right, so Page of Swords energy here with this person, okay. Um, definitely gossip, definitely spying and truth coming in. I do feel like they're gonna come in and communicate with you. You know, this person does, they are showing up in reverse. So they do have a little bit of persuasion, persuasion over you, okay? And I feel like they may try to use their persuasive tactics to, you know, lull you to sleep or get you to cave. Um, I feel like that's kind of their nature. You can't change the nature of someone like that, but you can change your nature. You can have your boundaries, right? You can't change other people. We can only change ourselves. So start changing yourself, okay? If you're going to take this person back, I feel like they are going to come in though with truth. Um, let's take a look here. Yeah, they're, they're definitely going to um, 
invest okay with what little that they have because <laughs> I don't really feel like they have much to offer really um, but I think they're gonna really try to initiate working for this and what you want making the effort I do feel like they're gonna do that okay like I said it doesn't have to be a pregnancy thing it can just be they made a huge mistake um, for some of you um, for some of you who are in heterosexual relationships um, you may find out that your person was with someone of the same sex which or you suspected it okay which you were pretty sure it's not that they were it's not that they were completely gay or it's not that they were really bi or anything you knew about it was some of you i just feel like maybe you were questioning is my person interested in same-sex relationships i don't understand um what happened some of you really came down to that conclusion because you were kind of left in the dark or you suspected that there was something they were having an affair a same-sex affair um that's for the heterosexual people male female okay and some of you were just like i don't get it i do feel like that did happen but that's not for all of you okay um it's not for all of you let's see here um i will say they're coming in straight though <laughs> they're coming in straight or whatever straight is for you okay So if you're um, if you're a lesbian or if you are gay, um, they're they're coming back in to be in alignment with you, okay. And if it's a heterosexual, they're coming back in to be um, heterosexual, okay. That's just a small message that I was picking up that I feel like they wanted me to clarify for you. All right. So this conformity here, mm. the moon. Oh, confessing of their sins. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, sins and the fact that maybe they lied about things to you. Um, opening up like in front of a counselor. If you, if you guys make this person go into like some kind of counseling or see a damn priest, whatever it is, um, or go into a confessional or just, you know, open up and admit stuff. I feel like they're going to do that. It's going to take time. It's definitely going to take a little time. It's not going to be, like I said, an overnight thing. It's not going to be something that, you know, they're going to have to work for it. I do feel like, though, they are going to initiate to try and make something work here. We do have Scorpio. We do have Piscean energy. They're Sagittarius, if I didn't say that. Um, hmm. I mean... The moon is voluntary changes. So I feel like you're not really going to have to. I mean, you could lay out the plan. I mean, you could tell them, look, you just can't come through my door until you change your shoes, you change your clothes, you go outside side of the house and get a shower. You're not walking in here with that dirty ass attitude and that dirty ass feet. And the way you left here, you're not coming back in here. You need to be completely clean before you come back in this door. I feel like this person is, is just... They might even come in and tell you that's what they're going to do. But because of the past, because of this person had some, uh, was kind of a con artist, you know, you're skeptical. I feel like you're going to be a bit skeptical. And especially if they were, so when it says release your ex, it doesn't have to be a person. Release your ex could be anything else that came through as a third party which could be an addiction, it could be work, it could be drugs, it could be anything, it could be a person. But it was just like whomever else they were giving their most, whomever or whatever else they were giving the majority of their time and attention to, this is release. They're letting this go, okay? The hangman is here, so this is like a completely new perspective. You know, whether this person is financially broke or not, I, I definitely feel like they have this poverty mindset. I feel like they have a lot of chaos. 
is happening in their life in you know especially in November they ha they just feel like they're completely out of control they don't know what to do um, I just heard Obi-Wan you're my only hope <laughs> Virgo you're my only hope now don't be taking on any stragglers don't be taking any taking on any fixer uppers Virgo okay you're not the fuck boy whisperer or the fuck girl whisperer here you know this person doesn't need to be coming back to you and leaning on you and making you responsible for them you're not their mother you're not the father so you redirect them to go get help somewhere before they can officially truly come back in the door that's called standing up for yourself that's called knowing who you are that's called having boundaries that's called getting rid of codependency issues that you know what i mean that's that's where we're at here on this channel that's called empowerment knowing your worth knowing what's right for you because i say all the time a drowned person will grasp at straws they'll grasp at anything to keep themselves from drowning and if you feel like this person's coming in and they're just grasping at straws because you're looking good you're doing right you got yourself together you're stable you're gonna attract people like that when you're stable in your good place you're gonna you're gonna attract people who are broken okay so well, this is love and love is love and when you have that when you created that soul time and you have that emotional feeling for somebody you, as a virgo of course you know you do want to help virgos do have a tendency to become fixer-uppers <clears throat> because Virgos know well and you're the sign of service and you like to give and you like to see people happy right but not at the expense of your own happiness okay so there's enlightenment there's spiritual enlightenment here with this person definitely happening they may have had like some kind of an awakening or they're having some kind of spiritual awakening sometimes that'll happen to people when they hit rock bottom Okay, yep eight of cups in the reverse coming back what do i always say she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes okay so it's definitely somebody here who's um fully learned from the past and they're coming home they're coming back to you virgo they've let go of whatever whatever they were doing, whatever was going on with them. It's interesting to have the devil card because I feel like that energy is removed um, and they got their karma. It's like they learned something. Sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? Travel the world in the seven seas. Everybody's looking for someone. All right. I'm going to get your Moonology cards. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm pulling this now. It's time to release negativity. Okay. Full Moon in Scorpio. So if you have a Moon in Scorpio, let go of that negative stinking, that stinking thinking. Let's see. Meditate and contemplate. New Moon in Pisces. All right. You need to take a little bit of time. You need to pray or meditate, whatever you do. Think about this situation. This person's coming back. How are you going to handle it? Like I said, don't let anybody back willy-nilly who's abused you or lied or, you know, created um, a breach of trust in the relationship. They got to work for it. Make them work. You're very close to achieving your goal. All right, Virgo, whatever you have going on in your life, be careful that you don't let anybody come in and sabotage your goals. You have to keep your tunnel vision. You have to keep your eye on the prize. These, I don't know if this is this person or just goals in your life. Do not get sidetracked. Do not get lulled to sleep by anybody's words. If somebody's coming back and they want to prove something, you just let them go and say, okay, all you need to do is show up for work and clock in each day. Don't be subordinate. And once you see they're not clocking in or they start they start clocking in and then they're running late. Listen, I'm a Capricorn man. <laughs> it's all business for me. 
but I'm I'm very loving and very sweet. But if they they start clocking in right away because they're excited because you're gonna let them back, and then if you notice after a while, that's why you gotta put them on probation. You notice after a little while they're starting to slack or they're calling out. I'm using work as an analogy. I know it's love. Yeah, you can be forgiving, but listen, at some point you got to get down to like bare bones here because relationships are not just love. They're working partnerships, right? You want a team player. You want a power. You want to be a power couple where you, you both. It's not about being a martyr to each other. It's about putting the energy into the relationship, the commitment, the marriage, the relationship, and working on that, right? It's like an institution. It's not just all love. Okay? We're here because we love each other, but we stay and put the work in, and that's what makes it work. Work, 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 work. Um, all right. I'm calling for some moon pie cards here. Let's see. non-committal that might be you virgo you might be like mm -mm, i'm not committing to this nope not until you prove yourself not until you show me okay well let's see i just saw secure home i'm gonna pull it because what i feel like here is you need some of you need to secure your home <laughs> deadbolt that door do not let don't give anybody the key Who's trying to come back like I see some of you I mean I'm not kidding I see some of you like oh they love me they're coming back here here's the key here's access to me and my heart and everything so you can destroy me again F no take your key back don't give anybody a spare key secure your home lock up and you let them know when they can have their key back <laughs> You know, you got, listen, if you're dealing with someone who's a grown child, you know, a child in an adult's body, you got to treat them like a child. They do something wrong, you got to ground them, and you let them know when they can come back out again. I'm not kidding. I don't know where everybody, you know, it's not like you have to be the dictator. I feel like a, the only reason I'm saying this, okay, is because there are some of you, because um, I... I don't feel like relationships should be this way. I just feel like if you're dealing with someone who's extremely immature and disrespectful and not treating you well, unfortunately you have to be this way if you're going to take them back. If you don't want to take them back, don't get on me about it. This is not your reading and then just don't take them back and keep it moving. You know I have singles aspects here on, on the reading so focus on that part of the reading. I feel like this is for a lot of you you know, who are going to take this person back and give them another chance. You should not be letting anybody in your home. Don't be letting them sleep over. Don't be giving these benefits to people who don't deserve them. Don't be giving husband or wife benefits to people who, where you haven't even, like, what the hell? If somebody's not proposing to you or, or you're, not, uh, you're not, like, in a legal binding contract of marriage and the institution and all that, what are you, what are you doing? Why are you wasting your time? somebody hanging around for years and years and not getting that and they're just all they're doing is devaluing you you're letting them you're showing yourself every time you take someone back and you're not putting them through the you know the ringer about the way they treated you you're giving them the message that they can continue to do that i don't know who i'm talking to here i'm not mad i just want to see you do better i just want to see you do better at some point you have to draw a line. You deserve all the trimmings on the tree. <laughs> you deserve all the best. You absolutely deserve the best. You will get the best when you act in your best interest. When you are a cheerleader for yourself, that's when you will receive your best. And if you're not at that place yet, you gotta work on your confidence and you gotta work on your empowerment. Because, listen, if you're demanding people respect you, um, then you're not respecting yourself. Because when you're respecting yourself, people around you will automatically respect you. You don't got to ask for respect. 
If you have to, then you need to tell that person to go and you need to start working on yourself. Yep, still undecided, good. Stay that way. You don't need to be making any decisions yet about somebody who's coming back after they've done you wrong. They need to prove themselves. Okay, and some of you, it's just time to go. You know where you're going, how to get there, just go. Don't waste any more time. Go after what you want, stop hesitating. Stop staying with people who are treating you bad or giving you lip services. Blockages are, are being removed and once they're removed, take off. If some of you need to move home, maybe you're gonna move home in November. Uh, just get away from this person. Listen, here's what I'm saying. I know some of you are like, okay, well, this I'm giving this person a third chance, Cal, and you said they're coming back and they're going to really try. Okay, great. That's fine. But for some of you, listen, you can do what you want. But for some of you, I feel like if you have to get to like third or fourth, I mean, if you're going to give, listen, I don't care how many times it's been. If you're going to give somebody a chance, you need to stick with it. You need to stick with them, making them prove it to you. And, and they got to be doing it for quite some time. And you don't need to tell them how long they have. Because if you tell this person, okay, well, I'm putting you on a probation for three months. And for 90 days, I need to see what you can do. Trust me when I tell you, this person will put on a show for you for 90 days. Because they know they only got 90 days to do it. After the 90 days, they slide back down. Don't tell anybody your plans. Don't let one hand know what the other hand's doing. Love's a gamble. You got to play it right. Past returns. There you go. That's what's happening here. And I know in my readings this keeps happening. And, you know, I don't know what to tell you. That's why I'm trying to keep bringing the, um, the singles in for the new. But not every day is going to be a reading, right? Now listen, for some of you, and let me just clarify, this may not be a lover. For some of you, this could be a sister who's been taking advantage of you, or a brother, or a parent, or a family member, or a friend. It all applies. Somebody you may decided you weren't going to talk to anymore, part of your family, or a friend, or something, okay? You might have uh, someone you're close to who was an addict or something and they were stealing or taking advantage, you know, and, and you gave them tries. You might give them another try, you know, for some of you. I don't know exactly what you're going to do, but, you know, or who this person might be. It's going to be up to you. Either way, you win. Victory, recognition, and applause. Okay? Either way, Virgo, it's a win-win for you. If you don't take this person back, you're still winning because you're not getting stuck in anything. And if you do take them back and you, and you follow the, the guidance that you're given here, um, if they follow through, you win. If they don't follow through, you still win. And I know you're not out here trying to compete, but it, it's not going to be a loss if this person comes back and they don't follow through. It's their loss, not yours. Remember that. Head held high. <laughs> That'll be them. See? That's what I just said. If they don't follow through and you give them the boot, look what, look what happens to them. They don't win. So, <laughs> if you've got someone that's coming in here not giving you their best performance and not trying to win you over, um, then that's not your person. That's not the one you need to have in your inner circle in your soul tribe. And just, you know, if that hurts you or you feel sad about that, I understand. Grieve. Feel what you got to feel. And then get over it. Build a bridge and get over it. There'll be somebody else. Somebody else always comes along. There's a, there's a seat for every ass. Don't ever think you're going to be, a, you're never going to meet anyone again because your feelings are still attached to somebody who's treated you wrong. Trust me. Trust me. You will. All right, here's your advice. Spirit's like, give Virgo the advice now. Um, so you have the four of wind, insights that come from meditation. That's why I said, some of you need to like really go in, 
and pray on it, meditate on it, figure out what you need to do, what's your plan, if you're going to take this person back, or just pray for release, exhale, let them go, if that's what you need to do. Some of you just need to take a rest or a vacation, allow yourself more time before making a decision. You can be undecided. You don't have to say yes. If this person comes back and you're not sure, some of you might just say yes so that you don't lose them again. Bad idea. Because if they're for you, they'll wait. Okay? Never say yes when you mean no. Say what you mean, mean what you say. Be true to yourself. This might be a mentally exhausting situation, so you're going to need time to just chill out about that. Okay. So three of earth. This is a card about marriage, teamwork, working together. Okay. Um, I just heard maintain your, your reputation, Virgo. Um, if you have a reputation for taking in stragglers, stragglers, not stranglers. Oh my God. <laughs> please, please don't have a reputation for taking in stranglers because like you need, you don't need a tarot card reading. You need like domestic violence hotline number or something. And I'm not making fun, but please don't be in that energy. Um, if you have a reputation for taking in um, projects, <laughs> Or, or, you know, people who are just like, listen, okay, you got to change that. It's time to change that and create a new reputation where you're like, no, that's done. That's that's the old me. Virgo, we're here for growth. This is the new me, right? Right? Is that where you're at now? Okay. Some of you working on your craft, doing your thing, building yourself up still, you're going to be paid very well for that, whatever your plan is, or you're working on something. Okay. What are your constructing or building or creating um, I see money coming in here for you um, because you do really good work Virgo you're, you're you're very Virgo you're more about quality over quantity which that's a beautiful trait I don't, I don't think there's any other sign in the zodiac that has that sign quality over quantity you want stuff to be perfect you're per perfectionist you want it to look good you want it to be right and you'll spend a lot of time trying to do that Okay, for some of you, if you have a situation where someone's coming back, you're stressed about it, your message here is to dive into your, your creative projects or the things you're working on. Um, that will help alleviate your stress. And you'll be recognized for it, like I said here. Victory, recognition, and applause. Either way, it's a win-win for you, Virgo. No matter what you do, you have the Midas touch. You just do, Virgo. Let's see, what else? And then I'll do the charms. Oh, I knew it. I said to myself, the King of Pentacles is going to come out. I'm not even kidding you. You saw me shuffling. It says right here, the Midas Touch. I know you can't see it, but trust me, I don't lie. The Midas Touch. You have that. <laughs> you're compassionate. You're accomplished. You're charismatic. Don't think that the person you're with is the king of or the queen of charisma no 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 you're the one that has that okay they might have a little bit they don't have as much as you do a lot of you just don't fall for the charisma from another person you're just very practical and grounded okay um this is a time here november is going to be a very successful month for you okay your finances are looking good your money you're going to be prosperous um, in all areas, health, career, love, all areas of your life, everything is turning and will turn out beautiful here for you. Like I said, it's a win-win for you. If they don't follow through, it's a no-win for them. Some of you are just beautifully supportive parents, and you're always a supportive spouse or partner. Always be proud of that. You're also a very good person to work for. Keep that going. They say get one more. Okay, you got the two of fire. Taking the next steps, bold and ambitious choices, partnering with others who share your dreams, very important, make sure you do that. Expanding your plans and continue to move forward. Despite X is coming back, 
Despite new people coming in, despite tornadoes on the horizon, despite hurricanes, tsunamis, despite your bank account being low, keep moving forward. Don't stop. Don't stop till you get enough. Come on. With the post, don't stop. Don't stop till you get enough. All right, let's see. I guess I'm channeling Michael Jackson. Do you know Michael Jackson was a Virgo? Just saying. All right, let's see. What do you got here? Oh. Oh, isn't that something? This is definitely your reading because there's a skull with a top hat here. And we got a skull here. Okay, this is your reading. I don't know what the heck this means. This might be something to do with Halloween. Okay, next week I think it is, isn't it? Next 10 days or so. Somebody might be like a skeleton and wear a top hat as a costume. Um, this might just be like, maybe you see a bumper sticker, a skull with a top hat, or somebody has a tattoo of a skull with a top hat. Also, um, somebody lives in Flint or near Flint, Michigan, or lives in Michigan. I just heard, um, and also, uh, oh my goodness. Um, I don't know if you have a little kid or a grandson or granddaughter uh, or little kids that ride those rides at the playground and it looks like a dinosaur. Okay, that might be for you. That message might be for you. Um, and then I just, okay, no. They said pron They said pronto, but then they said no pronto, like quick, right away. Or somebody's um, Spanish or speaks Spanish, perhaps. Okay, so we have... Um, Chanel number five. Mm. Um, somebody's birthday might be September 5th, or there might be like a Taurus involved here somewhere. Or you wear Chanel number five, or somebody wears. Is it is it Chanel number five? I think that's what it's called. Okay, you might be receiving a gift for Christmas or the holidays or. Uh, for something or just to receive it okay like a love gift from someone they buy your favorite cologne or your favorite perfume okay um this love makes me feel like philadelphia city of brotherly love there's a, a like a, a an art piece it's been there like forever and ever and ever and it says l o v e Okay, so you might have a connection to that area, to Philly, Philadelphia, uh, maybe live in the city. Um, you could have a brother that you haven't spoken to in a while who you might be connecting with around the holidays for some of you. I feel like it's going to be very good, very positive. I'm just feeling a lot of peace. And I just heard the word, I don't know what the heck this means. And I'm sure Derek or Alex is going to make a comment. I heard paste and then I heard pasty. Somebody might have, okay, don't even go there, you guys. <laughs> I know he's going to, somebody's going to post strippers. I don't, uh, somebody might have very fair skin, like pasty, pasty white skin. Or have par, uh, porcelain, like porcelain skin. Or your skin is really good. Like it's in really great shape. Some of you might have been doing a lot of like facials or skin skin treatments or something. Your skin, I just, somebody's skin looks really, really good. It's like velvety, creamy, beautiful to touch, glowy, it's glowing. Okay. And then we have Namaste. And uh, so somebody might say that. Someone might have a shop called Namaste or there's like a, like a plaque or something on the wall or someone sits on a table and says namaste or someone just somebody types that or texts it not type like a typewriter who the people use typewriters they don't use typewriters anymore uh like or maybe it's a text or well types it out like on a laptop or something all right you guys all of a sudden my nose is getting stuffy and i'm not feeling so good so i feel like i'm gonna just shorten this reading here um yeah i think that i'm gonna end this because i can't really 
I'm, I, my head, when my head feels stuffy, I kind of feel like um, I can't. All of a sudden, it's just hitting me. I was sneezing all day today, you guys. You know, I went in. I went into. Um, I woke up. Everything was fine. I felt fine, and all of a sudden, I had a sneezing attack, and then it went away. And then I went about my business. And then I, I went back, I went into my closet, and then I just started sneezing again, and then I just took everything out of my closet and washed everything, dried everything, and then when I came back, pulled everything out of the washer and dryer, I started sneezing again. So I don't know if it's like, I guess it's allergy season, I don't know what's going on. Allergies never get me in the nose, but for some reason they are. So I just have a, like a runny nose. And I don't know even know why I'm telling you this, but I guess I'm telling you because I get a headache, and I don't ever get sick, but now I'm starting to feel it. So. I'm going to leave your reading here. <laughs> Don't be the fuck boy, fuck girl whisperer. Stop that. Power up. Level up. Power up. Boss up. Take care of yours. Take care of yourself. Take care of your kids. Do what you got to do. Um, nobody come, No soup for you. Nobody comes in the door if they, they can't be in line and, and come correctly. Point blank period up right that's it yes you can be forgiving yes you can be loving yes you, be, you can be caring but you can be firm and just leave it at that all right you guys so i will see you all tomorrow um depending on how i'm feeling if i'm not feeling well i may just not do the next reading i'm just gonna have to see but um if you don't see me have a great weekend and I will catch you all later. All right. Love you guys. Bye.